I wanted to spend a little bit of time today to just talk about how you can clean up the disk space on your computer. One of the things that I've been noticing is that a lot of people's hard drives have been filling up and people have been asking uh, how, to, how to delete things on their computer and how do we find where, what, what we can delete. I know that many of you have been getting little pops up that uh, pop-ups in your computer that have just been alerting you to this. So one of the things that we have here through self-service is an application called Omni Disk Sweeper. So if you just open up self-service, you can go to the applications category and uh, go ahead and click install here to download and install the application. Once that is complete, and go ahead and open up Omni Disk Sweeper. It is in your Applications folder, or you can just find it through Spotlight. Once you open up the application, for the first time you'll see this little drive list. This drive list shows you all of the different hard drives and disks that are attached to your computer. What we're going to want to do is sweep your, your main Macintosh HD. So just click on it to select and then click Sweep Macintosh HD Drive. You will see that, this, uh, that the drive starts to be swept and essentially it's just scanning. The application is scanning your computer to figure out where all of your files and folders are located. And it lists the, the highest, the, the biggest directories up at the top. And you can sort of search down and, and see where all of your space is. I actually did a full sweep before we started just so because sometimes it can take a few minutes so this way we can sort of just take a look and see where all of the space on my computer is stored so you can see here I have 325 gigabytes total uh, I can also go in and just see how much storage space is taken up on my Mac through about my Mac and so here it looks to be about 60 to 70 percent full uh, for my for my drive. Generally you want to make sure that you're below 80 percent full. If you're if you start to, to fill up your drive and you you don't clean it up the computer can have trouble uh, cleaning itself up and uh, you'll see that the computer runs slower over time so making sure that you have a bit of free space on your computer is very important. So here on my computer, most everything is taken up in my user directory, and this is generally where you're going to see most of uh, your files being stored. So here I have 70 gigabytes in, uh, in documents, and it turns out here that this is a virtual machine that I have. Um, I can choose to delete that, but I'm going to keep this since I need it. Um, through library and application support, I'm seeing that there is quite a bit of space taken up uh, under Adobe, so this might be something that I'd want to address and clean out. Um, I have 14 gigabytes in Thunderbird, which is an email program. This is actually something that I've forgotten about and I don't really need to, to keep on my computer anymore, so I can just go ahead and delete this, uh, this particular folder. So I can delete it here and destroy that. So make sure that you want to delete these files before doing so. So now that's deleted, uh, freeing up a bit of space, we can go back and just essentially going through each one of these very large folders on your computer and trying to figure out where, where the space is being taken up. Um, I, one of the things that I see across a lot of computers at BI are people having very large uh, photo libraries and for example this one's a migrated photo library so I could have this somewhere else you may have this somewhere else too and if it's the type of thing where you're storing a lot of photos for your job you can request a uh, an external hard drive where you can throw those those pictures uh, so that it's not taking up space on your main hard drive so once again to do that you just submit a ticket um, here I have almost uh, 7 gigabytes in downloads. Generally this is something that when it gets too large I'm going to want to clean out. For now I'm not going to do it. Um, 
A few other things that I see a lot of people having a lot of space is through mobile backups. So if you find a directory that has about 20 or 30 gigabytes that says like a mobile sync or mobile backup sync, that generally means that at some point you used iTunes to back up your phone or maybe a tablet to your computer. And if I, I'd recommend that you back up to the cloud rather than backing up locally. So that might be the type of thing that you can delete. The one thing that I would recommend staying away from are some of these other folders like private and system. If you delete some of these files, you might find that you can't boot your computer anymore. And that is something that you definitely want to stay away from. So mostly you're, you're going to want to look into users and then also applications and, uh, and see what's going on there. Um, the other thing that I'd suggest is if you are having an issue with Dropbox, or if you have Dropbox, a lot of times that can take up a lot of space on your computer. So one of the things that uh, you may want to look into is changing the way that Dropbox syncs files to your computer. So what I mean by that is there's something within Dropbox called Selective Sync. So if I go into my business and in, uh, business insider account, click on change settings for selective sync, you can see here which folders are synced locally on my drive. So for example, this video archive file is uh, or folder is I think at this point um, 10 to 20 terabytes. So I definitely don't want to keep this local on my computer. So I've unchecked that box. And a few of these others, there's just no need for me to store these files on my computer. So I've unchecked them. Yet, if I ever need to recover these files or download these files, I can just go online to Dropbox and download them off of Dropbox. Or if I need them later, I can check the box here so that they're synced to my computer. So I, I think those are a couple of tips that, uh, that might help people clean up their, their disks. So if you have any questions from here on out, uh, feel free to submit a ticket and we will do our best to help you out. Uh, thanks for watching.